Good afternoon, guys. How are you? It is, what day is today? It is May 27th. I am Jennifer Kirk. I'm an independent stamping up demonstrator from Guelph, Ontario. And I am going to show you a sneak peek of a new uh, taste, In Good Taste Suite that is coming to you on June 3rd. Hold on, just let me, I'm just setting up my electronics here to make sure that I can see if anyone has joined and respond to comments. And of course my, uh, my iPad has decided not to respond, so it's gonna take me a second. Give me one, why is it not coming up? Let's see. Uh, oh, there we go, I got it, woohoo! <laughs> Technology, one day, one day. It will work for me. Hey, Heather, how are you? Good afternoon. Hopefully it's uh, you're having a great day. So we're going to make this card today. It is a really simple card. Um, and it's, I don't know, I think it's kind of cute. So it's using um, products from the new suite called Taste. Well, it's In Good Taste, the suite. So... The suite is, so the new catalog comes uh, June 3rd, so next week, woohoo, we can order from it. I'm so excited. Um, and let me tell you, this catalog, there is amazing, amazing stuff in it. Like, I am so in love, I don't even know what to order. Um, I can't show you inside yet until the 3rd, um, but if you do live in Canada and you do not have a demonstrator, um, contact me and I can send you out a catalog and some information um, but this is it June 3rd um, it goes live and we can order so excited all right so today we're using the tasteful touches um, bundle so it's really cool there's some really nice big uh, sentiments on there it's a good starter stamp because it does have sentiments as well as images. And it does come in a bundle with these really versatile frames. So you can use these not only with this stamp set, but pretty well any stamp set we, we would be able to get um, fitting in here. So if you do have a die cutting machine and um, these, this is a really good investment for you because you can use them on with any other uh, sentiment set as well. Um, really cool. It has some of the stitched uh, outlines that you can see here. It also has some embossing that looks really neat and all different shapes. So it's really, oh, love it. Love it. I'm using this all the time. What also comes in this suite is my new favorite embossing folder. So I used to use, I still do, but I used to use the subtle embossing folder constantly. This is my new subtle. You can barely even tell that I've used it on here, but it's it's called the um, I'm learning all the names still. Tasteful textures embossing folder, and it's just a really neat. It's just a little texture, and it's it's very subtle, um, but cool. All right, so that's coming. Also in the suite is some DSP. This is a big pack of DSP and it is fun. It is like being in the home decor section of a hardware store. Hey Sandy, how are you? Um, you get 24 sheets of 12 by 12 and the one side is all, you know, different. Well, it's, it's, it's like ceramic tiles and I don't even know what this is called. We're using this one today. Um, it's like a paste, you know, the paste that you put on, drywall paste. Some more tiles, some textiles, just amazing. And this will be so good for some uh, feminine cards, masculine cards, you name it. It's just really neat. Look at this, I can't wait to play with that. I can't wait to play with all of these actually. And there's some more. And then on the other side, 
Oh, I'm getting my card stuck in here. We have some more wood grain, some other randoms, some more of that mat with some colors in it. Look at how gorgeous this is. Some, like a marble. Love it. Love it. I really need to start to sit down and play with it. I just actually opened this suite last night and I thought, oh, I got to do this card because it was just easy and neat. So that's the DSP that comes in the suite. And there's also um, some in good taste elements. So these are some wooden elements. Um, you get a bunch of leaves and uh, whatever these things are called. <laughs> Can't remember, my brain does not work. As well as these, and we're gonna be using these today. All right, so pretty neat. One side is kind of um, like a darker stain sort of, and then the other side is plain. And you can do, you can color these, you can emboss these, you can stick, uh, stick these in Versamark and put some embossing powder on them and you can make, you know, metallic elements that you can use in your project. So I'll, I'll show that on another, on another day, but I'll just put this to the side and we will get started. All right. So again, this is the card that we're going to make. Hopefully I have everything organized here. I'm still getting used to doing my video at this time. Normally I do it on the weekends and I have lots of time to prepare. Um, but with summer holidays and us being on the boat many Sundays, I am now trying to do it on a Wednesday and it's a little, I'm a little frazzled with after work getting in here. Okay, so to make this card again, I will post um, all the dimensions um, in this video after. So I will go in and edit it and add everything so you don't need to frantically write it down. But what we do need is some smoky slate cardstock. And this is just a standard piece cut in half. So that's five and a half by eight and a half. And we're going to bring in our scoring tool. Okay, and we're gonna give it a score at four and a quarter. Okay, and turn it around and bring in my bone folder, which has seen better days. I really need to have one for moving ink around and one for videos because it looks horrible, but it's well loved. I use it a lot. So, you guys, have you had a great day? I hope you have. All right. The other thing that we need is a piece of Rococo Rose. Um, and this one is just one eighth shorter than normal. So, let's see if I can remember this. I should have written this down. So, instead of, so this is four and one eighth and five and three eighths, okay? And then a piece of the DSP at four and five and a quarter. And then I ran this through the embossing folder. You can barely see it, I don't know. Maybe if I hold it up closer to the camera, you can see, I don't know. But it does, in real life, it really, it, it makes a big difference. Maybe on that side you can see it better. Well, you can kind of see it on the camera, anyway. It does make a difference and it is, I love it. Love it, love it, love it. Okay, and then we need a piece of Whisper White. And this is for the inside and this is uh, four by five and a quarter. And then we need some scraps. So I have previously cut out this that we're gonna stamp our sentiment on. All right, and that was using the dies. And then I also cut out in Rococo Rose some feathers and that is using the nature's thoughts dies and there's a nice feather there and i thought it went really well with this stamp set with with the feather that we're going to be stamping with so i um and these are really cool it's there's a little bit of embossing in here as well as the the cutouts so we're going to be using those so that's all that we need uh to make this card so let's get going all right, let me move things out of the way because I have a tendency to make a mess. <laughs> All right, so let's 
see if I can get organized. So what we're going to do first is I'm going to stamp this sentiment. So the colors that we're going to be using, okay, we're going to be using Rococo Rose, which is um, a really gorgeous, I don't know, it's kind of, anyway, it's a gorgeous pink. <laughs> and it is in the DSP as well. And then we're going to be using both Basic Gray and Smoky Slate. Okay, so I like to do my sentiments a little bit darker than the rest of my stamping. So I am going to use the basic gray and we're just going to stamp. It would help if I picked up the sentiment. Uh, we're going to stamp the sentiment here just saying hello. Okay. And all you do is I'm going to try and center it. It's hard with my head not over the um, page. But just bring it down, straight down, give it a little push, and straight up. And there you go. That's it. Simple. Now I'm going to close this, and I am going to take my smoky slate, and I'm going to stamp off. So what stamping off is, I'm going to make sure that I have this on straight. What stamping off is, is it's just, um, you're going to ink up like you normally would. And then instead of stamping right on your project, you just stamp off once and then you come in and stamp and that's called stamping off. And the reason I'm doing that is I don't want it to be too, too, I want it to be kind of subtle. So it's just a little bit in the background. It's just a tiny bit of texture or added interest uh, to the card. So we're gonna do that. All right. We're moving right along here. Okay, and then we're gonna take my scrap piece of paper. You can see I cut out my, my symbol out of here. And we're gonna take our smoky slate and I'm gonna stamp a couple of feathers. I'm gonna stamp three. So Sandy, what have you been doing today? Heather, what are you doing? I guess, Heather, you're not working today. Okay, so we're gonna stamp one. Two, you guys are gonna have to watch me fussy cut these, which are not gonna be fun. <laughs> I should have cut, I should have done two of them beforehand, but oh well, we can chat. You can have a chat with me. Okay, so I am going to take my sponge dauber. Okay, if you don't have a sponge dauber, a regular old sponge will work as long as it's clean. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to add some color to these feathers. So I'm just going to pick up some ink, okay? And I'm just going to go lightly just in circles. You don't want to, if you push too hard, you'll, you'll get a bit of a blob. But if you just go lightly, it doesn't matter if you go outside of the lines because we're going to cut. Um, so we're going to cut them out with scissors. And I'm just, this is an easy way of coloring if you don't want to sit there with your blends or your markers and color it in. I'm just adding some color. All right. I think that's good. So let's cut these out. Just staying cool. You know what, Sandy? I... <laughs> We have a dog, and our dog is, he's a big dog. He's, um, he's an Alaskan Malamute. So he loves the winter, absolutely loves the winter. And in this weather, he hates it. He just, he cannot deal with the heat. So we have our air conditioning on. And my office, um, I work from home, and my office is in the basement. And I am frozen solid like we don't have the air conditioning up very high but it's just high enough that my basement is cold and the dog will not come down in the basement I'm like just come in the basement and you know then we don't have to have the air conditioning on although I'm sure the boys will want the air conditioning on now um but I am frozen I'm like wrapped in fleece blankets <laughs> and sweaters on in my office and everyone else is complaining of the heat and I'm like oh I have to go outside to thaw out just so I can move my hands hey Lena how are you hope you're having a good day 
All right, so we are just fussy cutting here. I'm just doing it really quick. You guys, if you're making this card, you may want to spend a little bit more time, but I'm just doing it really quick because I don't want to bore you guys watching me cut, <laughs> cut out some feathers. All right. So for those of you that are not demonstrators, um, we have a new catalog launch that is happening next week. So this, these are products from the new launch or from the new catalog. And Stamping Up has just announced an absolutely two amazing deals. So if you're not a demonstrator, um, you do want to become a demonstrator because not only do you get the amazing starter kit which is always a great deal no matter what so in Canada the starter kit is costs $135 and that includes um, so it's $135 no tax if you're in Ontario and no shipping and you get to choose $165 um, dollars worth of product Okay, so that's our normal starter kit and that is a great deal no tax no shipping and you get uh, $65 uh, 165 worth of product for $135 Canadian with this new catalog you also get to choose a bundle for free so you get to choose either a stamp set and a punch or stamp set and dies and it's whichever one out of the new catalog that you want that is amazing so if anyone is interested in getting some more information of what it means to be a demonstrator let me know and really what it can mean to you is that you get a discount on buying your craft supplies so you don't need to demonstrate you don't need to do videos like this you don't need to sell and if you end up not being able to make your minimums, then you simply just lose your 20% discount that you get on all the other purchases. So it's really, really a no brainer. Okay, so the next part that we're gonna do is we're gonna bring in some of this shimmer paint, okay? And we're just going to take the dies, which of course I have misplaced. There we go. We're just going to take our feathers and we're going to just give them a little bit of sparkle. So there's two ways you could do this. You could do this with Winkastella or you could do it with um, with some shimmer paints. So I'm just going to paint these. Okay, I'm using just my aqua painter. You could use just a dry paintbrush. I'm just doing this because it's easier for me to clean up on the while on the video. And it's adding a nice little subtle, I don't know if you guys can see it on the camera, but I will show you, I'll lift it up. Um, and we're just gonna add that there. All right, okay. And then I'm just gonna clean my brush and that's it. That's why I'm using this because it's really easy to clean. You just finished doing your taxes. Oh, that, that is, I mean, thank goodness, Lena, that we got uh, an extension with the whole COVID thing. Do you see the sparkle there? Really pretty, eh? Um, I hate doing my taxes. Absolutely. I get my brother to do them. He's an, well, he's not an accountant. He's a financial guy, so he does my taxes for me. I know they're easy to do, but... Okay, so I'm going to take um, the elements that I showed you at the beginning of the video... And I'm going to take my Rococo Rose Dark Blend and I'm just going to color them. So you can see the three that I put on before. So I'm just going to color these. Okay, and again, these elements, you can leave them as wood because they're gorgeous as wood. You can color them with markers. Um, you can even emboss them. And I will show you another video where we emboss. And then I'm going to take some more of this paint here and just paint it on. Just again, just a little bit more glitter. All right. So we're almost finished with our stamping and we're almost ready to put together. Now we're just gonna stamp the inside. So the inside I kept really simple. Um, so the only stamping we're gonna do on the inside is a sentiment. Okay, and again, I always use a little bit darker ink for the sentiment than the rest of the stamping. 
And I'm just going to put, just saying hello, you are the best. I just think that's really cool. This is a great time right now just to reach out to people that you can't see, that are maybe alone, isolated. Lots of different stresses going on in people's lives right now with, with COVID. So it's nice just to be able to reach out to them. All right, so let's put this card together. So I'm going to just adhere these two layers. I'm going to bring out my wonderful glue. You work today, Heather. I'm so happy to hear that your um, that your residence is, is so far so good. I'm uh, watching the news every day. I'm thinking of you. It's not uh, not not fun to have it go through your workplace. I I know a few people that are involved with with uh, retirement residences and it's got to be really really tough on everyone involved. All right so and then we're just going to adhere this. Oh, almost time for new glue. So with speaking of new glue with the new catalog um, stamping up has some new replacement for our adhesive so remember the snail and the um, fast fuse that i tend to use quite a bit um we have new ones coming i'm so excited can't wait all right so now what i'm going to do is i'm going to bring in my glue dots and my take a pick tool okay and i'm just gonna add so i want to add these feathers underneath so i'm gonna just stick them on with a glue dot so all i'm gonna do is pick up my glue dot stick it on the back okay where i want the feather and i'm just going to attach it just like that okay and then i will do the same with another one here. Let's see, it would help if I actually put it on the glue dot, wouldn't it? Imagine that. All right, so I don't really want them the same. Uh, maybe I want this one up a bit higher. What do you guys think? Higher, lower? I think that looks good. All right, okay. And then I'm going to take my dimensionals and I'm going to pop this up a little bit. Not a lot, just a bit. So Sandy, have you been able to see Owen lately? I just took my feathers off here. A friend of mine just got to meet her new granddaughter. She hasn't been able to see her granddaughter, so that was exciting. All right, so I'm gonna just stick that down, center it, and I'm gonna just put this one down flat. This paper just makes it so easy to make a really simple, fast card, and it's just stunning. Like, I love this paper. I Again, I just started playing with it last night and I can't wait to show you some more. Okay, so now we're gonna punch these guys out. I'm just gonna push them through. They'll be dry now and we will glue them on. I'm just gonna stick them on actually with a glue dot. So I gotta bring my glue dots back out. And there we go. Doing taxes on a gorgeous sunny day Oh, it must have been so hard to be able to go and do that. I would have, I would have procrastinated, <laughs> which is why my taxes aren't finished yet. I am bugging my brother though, but it's very easy for me to bug him to do them, isn't it? Oh well. I just avoid doing them because I hate having to pay. <laughs> okay, so you can see I'm just sticking the um, glue dot on the back, making it just uh, a little, like a little snot dot kind of thing. And I will put the tr this, 
these on like just like that. All right, so again, when you're doing embellishments, it's always nice to kind of put them in a triangle or, you know, keep them, threes in a triangle usually work for me. I don't know what it is, but. All right, so for the inside of the card, we're gonna adhere that. And, and then I'm just gonna stick a couple, of, I have a couple of extra feathers here and I will put those in. Oh, do we want just one? I think maybe just one, eh? Which one do you think looks better? I like this one. Anyone have any ideas here? All right, let's just stick one in and I'm gonna put it right down at the bottom. None of the places that I had tried. There, simple, very simple, and yet pretty cute, I think. Okay, so again, this suite of products is available um, June 3rd to everybody. Um, the catalog will go live on my website on June 3rd, so do check it out. I will put a link at the bottom of this video. Um, if you are interested in joining, it is an amazing deal. You do not have to sell. You can just simply enjoy your discount and uh, be around a, an amazing community of other like-minded crafters. So do, uh, if you have any questions, reach out. Hi, Amy, how are you? It's, oh, it's your first time seeing me. You're just catching me at the end. So um, make sure I'm, I'm doing videos every Wednesday. And uh, I used to be on Sundays, but I'm now Wednesdays. So, um, oh, thank you, Heather. I'm glad you enjoyed the feathers. The feathers are really cute. I love them. So again, this is from a different stamp set than, uh, than, than the textures. So again, I will show you just quickly. So the feather is here from the Tasteful Touches. And then I did use this die cut, which is also in the new um, annual catalog that is starting on June 3rd and it's from the Nature's Thought. So I will put all the equipment that I used, everything that you need, measurements, etc., at the bottom of this video when it's done. And if you have any questions about what's coming up with Stamping Up, the other thing that, that Stamping Up just announced today too is extra rewards if you host a party in the first, uh, from June 3rd to June 30th. So there's extra stamping rewards. So any questions, reach out to me. I can give you all the details. And I hope you guys enjoyed making this card with me today. And I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful evening and a great week and happy stamping. And I will see you next week with the new catalog and I'll be able to open it then. I'm, I'm allowed to show you the inside of the catalog next week. So have a great week and we will talk soon. Take care. Bye.